wishes she spent more time preparing for this test than playing Candy Crush. Uh, there's no other way. Come on, what's that formula? Oh no! How about a little cheat sheet? You will need two rulers and a piece of paper to match their size. Link the rulers with a piece of duct tape. Now glue a strip of double-sided tape to the cheat sheet and glue it to one of the rulers. Just fold the other ruler and you're ready to go. It looks so innocent, especially while you're doing geometrics. The teacher won't suspect anything so long as you're not too obvious. This little hack should do the trick. Next time remember, maths before apps. Split nail again. It's as if they're intentionally breaking at school. Yeah, whatever. Why are nail files forbidden in the classroom anyway? Don't the teachers realize that a split nail is literally the most annoying thing in the universe? How can they expect we could ever focus on anything else? Good thing you have a spare one, Sarah. Or do you? Hmm, what if you make your notebook a little rough around the edges? Don't you think? Take a paper file and gently peel off the top layer. Using the edge of the notebook, make a line with a pencil and cut the paper to size. Now, all you have to do is glue it all together. The file is almost invisible. Whenever you have an urge to give your nails a smoother shape, you won't have to worry about your teachers anymore. Good girl, you can't get your hands off that notebook, can you? Don't let us distract you, busy little bookworm. Oh boy, things aren't looking too bright for Ashley. Quick, the teacher's not looking right now. Where was it? Watch out, she's coming back. Whoopsie daisy. That's a bummer. Let's try to make something a bit more creative. Take a single sheet of checkered paper, cut out a long strap, no more than four squares across. Fold it like a harmonica and write the formulas you need. And fold it right back. Ugh, just the thought of a math test makes me shudder. As if calculators weren't a thing. Duh. Things are looking better already. Now take an ordinary, skin-colored plaster and unfold the middle part. Using a bit of paper glue, stick your cheats right in. Put the plaster on your wrist and you're off to get yourself an A+. Practically invisible. Hands down, what a great trick. Oh, the teacher won't let you off so easily this time, Ashley. But you're such a good student. You don't need a smartphone anymore. Once the teacher is away, simply unstick the plaster and have all your knowledge literally at hand. Here's a little hack you can try out. If you need something more versatile than a simple notebook, make an outline using your smartphone. Now cut the middle part out using a paper knife. Be sure to check in advance how many sheets deep you need to cut. Otherwise, the notebook won't close and all your efforts will be for nothing. Your school agenda looks seamless now. Poor Sarah, it was so hot outside and now she has no place to hide her smartphone. Come on girl, in that skirt. You can't possibly think this is going to work, right? Emily will help you out with this clever hiding spot. Now you can have your smartphone in plain view and the teachers won't know a thing. It's time to go. Good luck, Sarah. Break a leg. Emily's doing the cheats on a wrist hack, but her teacher ain't having none of it. It's a bit too obvious if you catch our drift. Oh girl, you really thought this old technique would work? Instead, take a sheet of notebook paper and fold it one, two, three, four times, cut the rugged edges off so it's nice and even, and punch a hole in one corner. Take a rubber band and pull it through the hole. Just make a simple loop. And now, the fun part. Start riding those cheeks. Once you finish, put your hand through the rubber band and hide the paper in the arm of your jacket. Nice and hidden. Whoa, Miss Teacher, aren't you overreacting a bit? There's nothing shady going on over here, see? Some people. <laughs> How about quenching your thirst for knowledge and some cheats on a soda? Unglue the sticker and hide a cheat paper on the inside. That's an oldie, but goodie. Uh-oh, time's almost up, Sarah. 
so get those formulas cracking! Who would have thought a bottle of Sprite has so many hidden qualities? And all of that in plain sight! Clever girl! This time Emily is prepared like the good pupil she is. But of course, as life has it, her pencil decides to break at that very moment. Well, no biggie. Just sharpen it and get on with it. No, Emily! Achoo! Wow, her head looks like a Christmas tree. Sorry. Got that one sharpener you really like, but the shavings are flying all over the place. We bet you have something useful in your bag, like an old Tic Tac box. First you eat the Tic Tacs. Well, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> then just glue the sharpener to the Tic Tac lid and put it all back together. See, that wasn't exactly rocket science. Sometimes the simplest solutions are the best. Madison has been left after class. Apparently, she didn't press the subscribe button on her phone. Always subscribe to Crafty Panda. Class is finished. I hope you learned your lesson. Helen is practicing her French. Your pronunciation is pretty good, but you still can't let go of the dictionary, right? It's okay, as long as you follow the translations. Unless you lose the part you were last reading. That's an irksome way of learning a language. Urgh. It's easy to get demotivated like this, unless you find a way to use those paper clips. We'll also need a rubber band for this. Wrap it on the pages. This will be your bookmark. And now use a paper clip to mark the word you want to learn. Voila! You won't have to go through the struggle of flipping through the dictionary nonstop. The girls are rocking their art class. And as always, Jess will focus on fashion as much as she can. Wait, what's that? It looks like Jessica stained her palm with graphite. This can get messy pretty fast and removing it can be a struggle. Any ideas, Emily? Not sure if this napkin will be enough, darling. Luckily for us, Emily remembered she has a pack of lip balm close by. Simply apply some lip balm on your skin, give it a minute to soak in, and use a cloth or a napkin to brush it off. Whoa, that's amazing! Taking it off was almost zero hassle! Madison is done with her art assignment and wants to submit it to the teacher. Sadly, her stapler didn't punch through and just ran out of ammunition. Darn it, it feels like things always stop working when you need them the most. I've had enough of it. Meanwhile, Emily is working on her artsy piece and is using a precision knife, which is just what we need for our super quick hack. Lay down the papers and draw a small cut line on the left corner. Now, bend the tip back through the newly cut hole. That's it, our papers are now secured and we won't need to worry about them falling apart. See you later, stapler! Emily is highlighting her notes in math class. The problem with highlighters, they don't like getting mixed up with each other because the tip gets stained quite easily and it can be a real bummer. But why not use that to our advantage? We'll just need a couple of extra highlighters you already have in your case. Lay them down and continue to color one of the corners with red and cover the other side with green. That's it. Now grab your notebook and try it out. The painted highlighter will nicely transition from color to color and draw three stripes instantaneously, giving a chance for you to make rainbows in seconds or neatly color your unicorn's tail. Emily is preparing for an evening with her classmates. She's going to lay out all her makeup and start her primping session by putting on some foundation. Bad news is, she just ran out of it. Always happens when you least expect it, right? Good news, she might just be able to use it for something. Clean the leftover foundation out of the case using a cleaning wipe. Grab some sticky notes and cut them into circular shapes. Measure them so they are the right size. Lastly, place them inside. You can now write out all your notes inside this handy case. Emily now not only has a mirror to check yourself out with, 
but can also securely store her sticky notes. Hey Crafty Pandas! I hope you enjoyed these school hacks. Let us know which of them you're going to use next to the comments down below. If you want to learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to stay tuned for more.